Hey everybody, welcome back to The Boys in Blue. This is episode number 38, and today we are debuting a, another Freddie Freeman card. Um, let's go ahead and bring him in here. Just gotta do a lot of scrolling. A lot of cards are out nowadays. Um, let's see if we can go ahead and find him. There he is. Uh, Team Affinity 3 hitter captain, Freddie Freeman, 95 overall. Um, pretty solid contact, that 112, 101, clutch at 116. Power versus lefty is nice, 102, but the power versus righty is super low at 63. Um, okay speed, okay fielding and arm. Um, I'm going to have him over at third base today, switching out for the 98 overall Freddie Freeman. Um, so yeah, he is a captain card. He boosts up Team Affinity 3 players, um, or Team Affinity 3 hitters, I should say, which um, we don't have any Team Affinity 3 hitters for the Dodgers because we have all pitchers. Um, so not going to be very useful for us on the captain boost side of things um and with the fact that we already have a 98 overall freddie freeman i'm pretty sure i can confidently say this is going to be the only game we use this 95 overall freddie freeman um but he does he does have a nice boost um over on my grind team which is how i'm i'm doing team affinity right now you'll see he's boosting up all these other players right now so um it's definitely a nice card in in theory but for how i'm playing the game and how i'm in the series that i'm doing it's not helpful at all, um, but he is a Dodger Diamond, and so of course we're going to go ahead and debut him. I'm going to go ahead and move him around in the lineup. I think I'll just go ahead and bring him down um, to about the seventh spot, um, right behind Duke and in front of Andy and Austin. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for the intro of Freddie Freeman. Today we're going to be throwing Kirsch, 99 Kirsch. He's getting somewhat close to parallel five this game is definitely going to get him significantly significantly closer and soon we're going to be doing one of those 10 10 game ranked grinds and so that hopefully should be when we finish him out on the parallel so that's going to go ahead and do it let's hop into the game see who we're playing against all righty so we got matched up with our opponent and like i said we've got 99 curse on the bump but we're going to be the home squad taking a look at our opponent's team the new york nuts um he's starting things off with a new starting pitcher that came out last night um, Chase Dollander from the draft cards. This MLB draft was last night uh, from when I'm recording this. And taking a look at his team, he's got an interesting looking team. He's got some live series cards. 99 Ronald with his um, supercharge, but 89 overall, 87, 82 gold. Matt Olson, who I think was just supercharged, so now he's back down to an 82. Um, so on paper, we definitely have the better looking team. Um, but, you know, I've seen people win with, with all gold squads, all silver squads. So, um, Definitely don't want to count out my opponent early. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it, take a look at his record, and hopefully see if we can come out with a win. Baseball. All right, so like I said, we are here at Dodger Stadium. We have a record of 41 and 36, five games over um, 500, and my opponent 40 and 64. So using a really interesting team, um, but you know, that's all right. Taking a look at Corbin Carroll hitting 316 for him with five homers, um, pretty good average. So maybe this guy is kind of cracked. So. Definitely going to try and be um, a little cautious and aware as we get going with this game. Um, bunts a slider foul. See if he goes for a bunt again. Whiffs at a high fastball, 0-2. And, um, and let's go for an inside circle change. See if we can put him away this way. I don't want to show off the curveball too early. Pulls back from the, uh, the bunt. Flashes it again flinches at that curve it's in the dirt two and two we'll go for a high and away fastball and he watches that for a strikeout so Kirsch takes him five pitches but we got one out on the strikeout that's gonna bring up live series Fernando Tatis Jr. start him off with a slider again this one's gonna be inside that's kind of right down the middle misses it circle change away on the black not a good pinpoint at all Whiffs on that, 0-2. And let's go for a sinker in that same spot. Change up the speeds. And he's going to go ahead and fly out to Gavin Lux. So we're two down here in the top of the first inning. Pretty solid stuff from Kirsch, which is normal. We've seen that all season long. It's going to bring up live series Ronald Acuna Jr., who, as we know, is supercharged to a 99 overall. Um, and rightfully so. The guy's absolutely mashing. Get him to whiff on that. Um, and let's go for a pretty inside slider. Hopefully this doesn't dust him off and he gets a chance to swing at it. Goes right down the middle, unfortunately. Um, Gavin Lux has a chance to get this with his good speed. 
and he's there. So three up, three down for Curse with a strikeout and two flyouts to Gavin Lux to be our up to hit, and hopefully we can get on the board early like we've been doing in the last few games. So pitching for my opponent, like I said, Chase Dollander for the Colorado Rockies. Four-seam fastball, slider, curve, circle change, and a sinker. It's the first time we have seen a draft card, which makes sense. I mean, it's the first time I've been recording since that stuff came out. Um, take a fastball in for a strike early. 0-1. Oh I'm going to push that slider into left field. Just a late swing at it, but we're getting through. Gavin Lux is on again. I think that's the third game in a row we've been able to get our leadoff guy on in Gavin Lux. And here's CC3 hitting just below 200. Nice fastball up in the zone. Way behind it for a strike. That sinker has some honestly crazy movement. But I was able to watch it go for a ball. 1-1. Ooh, good curveball. 1-2. It was way out in front on that. Ooh, good fastball. He's going to go right back to that spot where he started the at-bat and get us to swing and miss for a strikeout. Let's get him up Funky Muncy. Hitting just above 200. Way behind on the sinker, 0 and 1. Ooh, gonna pop up the slider. So I'm gonna have Gavin Lux retreat back to first. So two down after the leadoff single. Not a great start, but you know, it's doing all right. Red turn two here. Currently hitting 239. Let's see if we can get a two out rally. See if we can bring in Gavin Lux. I'm going to keep Lux at second as Ronald's got a super good arm. So red turn two gets a base hit on a slider, 100 off the bat. On a ball way below the zone. So we're going to Will Smith with an RBI opportunity here. Fastball right down the middle. I pulled my PCI and I was late. So 0-1. Two on, two gone. And kind of on the late side of good on that fastball. Oh, let's go, man. It's going to go ahead and bring in a run. I'm going to test Ronald's arm. I am going to send the runner, and he's just going to throw it over to third. So we're up 2-0 early. You love to see it. We get to chase Dollander with a two-out double from Will Smith. Nice little two-out rally that we got going on here. It's going to bring up Duke Snyder. The runner in scoring position. Mm, couldn't check my swing. We're going to go 0-1 on the slider that was below the zone. And he's pausing early. Alrighty, so he lets the timer go all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and take the win here, two to zero. Unfortunately, this happened before Freddie Freeman's debut at bat, so that means we're gonna go ahead and do another game here. Hopefully, I can use Kirsch again, and he didn't lose all his energy. But we're now above 500, three and zero so far. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. We're definitely gonna go ahead and play another game. Um, we get the pennant race reward pack there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I have pitchers with energy, but. Yeah, unfortunately, with one inning of work, it's going to take Kirsch's energy down. So we're going to go ahead and throw probably 99 Butane here. Um, Burt Kirsch, pretty solid, you know, in one inning of work, one strikeout, two flyouts. Um, but we take the dub. Um, I'm going to go ahead and obviously play another game. And we're going to go ahead and throw in Walker Bueller. So let's go ahead and match up with our next opponent and hopefully come out with another win in this video. All right, game number two in this one. And we got matched up with our opponent. We got, like I said, Bueller on the mound. And we're going to be the home squad. Oh, geez, very different team here. We are looking at the number one pick overall. I think, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's last name. I'm going to say it's Skeens. I could be wrong. I don't really know much about him. Um, but Paul Skeens is going to be the starting pitcher and our opponent here with a tier three boost um, going on for the June player of the month program. He's got Supercharged Otani, already Parallel 4. This card came out for me like four days ago. So uh, Parallel 4 Otani. I don't know why I said supercharged. Um, 97 Mike Trout. Lindor is his wild card at parallel five. The Bringer of Rain. Hammer and Hank. Pordomo. Patrick Bailey. Ezekiel Duran. So this guy's got a goon squad. Um, hopefully he just plays a lot of ranked and he's not super good. But, you know, we're on kind of a win streak here. Um, I think we've won the last four in a row dating back to the last ranked season. So we're getting up there in the rankings. And hopefully we don't just get demolished here. Um, let's see. Yeah, Dodger Stadium, like I said, we're the home team. Um, let's take a look at his record. We are 42 and 36 with that last, I'm going to call it a rage quit. Um, and he is 60 and 52, so a pretty solid record here. Um, so on paper, it's gonna look, looking like it's going to be a good game. Um, facing off against the number one draft pick in this year's draft. And he's got Shohei Otani leading things off. 
up and three down. We give up our first hit of the game. Um, let's let's hit and see how we do against this uh, number one overall draft pick. Let's take a look at his repertoire. Forcing fastball, slider, circle change, cutter, slurve. Trying to stay alive. Trying to get a hit here. Hanging slurve, and that's getting down. I'm going to send Will Smith over to third. Duke's going to get to second. That's Otani out and right, I believe. And I'm going to keep runners in scoring position here with no outs for our debut man. 95 overall, Freddie Freeman. We finally got to him here, so here is he is in uh, this game. With an opportunity to score, opportunity to get some RBIs here. 116 clutch, 63 power is not good at all. And we're popping up to second base for that at bat. Not a good result here. Um, so one down, Freddie Freeman, unfortunately, can't bring him in in his debut at bat. And here's Andy Paja, still looking for his first hit. Um, unfortunately, I've got not some good guys up um, in this scoring position. Um, hopefully, we can make something happen here. There's that slurve. 0-2. Um, Timing was good, but the PCI location was horrible. And Andy's going to go ahead and ground that. Andy's got an RBI under his belt with an RBI ground out. We'll take it. So we get one run across, and that's going to bring up Austin Barnes in 143 for us. An opportunity to bring in that runner from second. Perfect, perfect. Austin Barnes, no doubter. Are you joking? I've never seen that my entire life. 103 off the bat. We're up 3-0. First pitch swinging on a cutter. Barnes goes a yard. 417 on the distance. Shoot, man. We're up 3-0. And we're back to the top of the lineup with Gavin Lux with um, two outs, nobody on first foot swing, and we push that fastball foul. And a circle change right down the middle, 102 off the bat. Do we have enough elevation? It's getting over Otani's head. I'm going to send the runner. Okay, he hesitated. I don't know why he hesitated. So we're going to score one run, keep him over at third. It's going to be an RBI double for Duke Snyder. And going to bring up Freddie Freeman again with an RBI opportunity. Two on, two gone. Sinker lands in the zone, 0 one, one Let's see if Freddy can get a knock here, bring in some runners. Not a good pitch to swing at, 0-2. Two. two strikes, two on, two gone. Gonna foul off that sinker to stay alive. Recognized it very late that it was gonna be a strike. Pushed a foul to stay in. Foul off that curveball, couldn't tell if that was gonna land in the zone either. 0-2. Freddy, no, pops up the slider, man. Unfortunately, didn't have good timing on it either, but we're going to go down um, with a pop-up. But we score another. We have our seventh hit in this one, four runs so far, as we enter the fourth inning up 4-0. you love to see it. Um, and he's going to go ahead and push that in for a base hit. Gavin Lux is going to get there, toss it over to first. A two-out hit for our opponent here. Bringer Rain is on with a base hit on a cutter that was off the plate. Just pushed it into right field. It's giving up Chuck Nasty. Charlie can absolutely change the trajectory of this game. Andy Pajas can't get there. I'm going to toss it over to third. So another two out hit. That one coming off the bat of Charlie Blackman. So two on two gone for our opponent. And he can make this a one run game with one swing of the bat. Here's Hammer and Hank. 0 for 1. Takes that slider. 1 0. Um, bold pitch, but I'm going to go for a backdoor slider. No shot he got to that. He's going to get a run here, potentially two. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in. So he gets his first run of the game on a backdoor slider. Um, I can't believe he even got to that, but he just did. Um, brutal, man. It's going to bring up Geraldo Perdomo. If he homers, we got a tie ball game. Takes a slider. I'm going to go for an up and in fastball. And that's a perfect, perfect right down the middle. It's going to bring in another run. He's going to send the runner from third. And not a good throw. It's a 4-3 ball game. Butane is falling apart after back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. And it's a 4-3 ball game. I'm going to get the bullpen moving. Let's get Evan Phillips in and Eric Gagne in the bullpen as well. Um, shoot, man. Not good stuff. It's going to bring up Patrick Bailey. Ooh, I don't know, Blue. I don't know. Want to know. Patrick Bailey here. And he's going to pop it up to you in the inning. So our opponent is back in this one. After being up 4-0, we're only at 4-3 now as we head to the bottom of the fourth. we got a baseball game on our hands, folks. Fastball gets crushed, dude. we got a 4-4 ball game. That was crazy. Not a good pitch. I felt a little iffy throwing it. Um, but we got a tie ball game here in the top of the fifth. Trout goes yard. 421 on the distance. His fist, uh, first homer on the year for him. 
Didn't feel great about that pitch, but he is behind it, 0-1. Chuck is a great contact hitter, and Gagne can't get a hold of it. You're joking, man. And we're going to get the out at second, so unfortunately, opponent scores, but we do get the out at second, so we need to tie the game to stay alive. We could take the lead and move on uh, with a win here. But what a battle is our opponent just Duke. I don't know. I don't even know what happened there for 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 Gandhi. The ball just went right through his glove. Here's two, three, and four. CT three pops up the first pitch. Not going to be deep enough for Gavin Lux to move the third. Some weird uh, audio things for my opponent here. Here's Funky Muncie. O oh, for four in this one. Take that cutter for a ball. One and zero. Oh. Got to lock in. We got to do it here. If we get something through. Lux is easily scoring. That would have been ball two. Um, like I said, Lux would be easily scoring from second. Oh, behind the fastball. Or in front of it. Not behind it. All right, one and two. Punish that slider, but on the late side of good. I, th ah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm going to throw it back to second. Probably would have been out at third. All right, we're down to our last out here with, um, let's see. Who's up? I don't even know. Red turn two. It's down to him to at least tie the game. Something in the gap, and we are scoring. First pitch swinging on a sinker. Please go foul. Please go foul. It goes foul. Thank the Lord, man. I was thinking if, if Otani just grabs that at the net, that would be a brutal way to lose. That would be a brutal way to lose, but that's going foul. We're going to be 0-2 on red turn two. Muncie just missed that slider, man. That would have ended it for sure. Stay, hit that circle change to stay alive. Way on top, way early. No, I tried to check my swing, but y'all know I can't do that. So we're going to lose this game as we were up 4-0. And we lose 5-4. Man, shout out to my opponent. That was a really solid game. He got some lucky hits um, as he started the score with that inside um, slider just like getting in. And he got the hit off of it. That was wild. Um, Mike Trout crushed that home run. I don't think that was a lucky hit at all, but he definitely did get a couple lucky hits in that fourth inning. Um, crazy man, but GG's to my opponent. That was a super well played game. Um, Freddie Freeman was horrible in his debut 0 for 4, uh, but like I said, probably never going to see that card again. Just, you know, Dodger Diamond got a debut him. And Butane goes parallel 2, Evan Phillips goes parallel 1 as he was dominating in that. Um, whatever I'm calling it, uh, those three innings when we brought him in relief. So, um, unfortunately that we lost there, but you know, it was a pretty solid game. We went one and two in this video. I kind of forgot that we played two games in this video. Um, cause that one took so long. Um, but we are officially 42 and 37, still five games above 500, but, uh, 95 Freddie Freeman is here on the team, but like, you know, I'm taking him out. 98 Freddie Freeman is back. So shout out to Austin Barnes getting a two run home run, his first, um, home run with the team. Um, with Mookie Betts getting his uh, home run derby card tonight. I'm recording this on Monday. Um, probably going to be the last time you see Austin Barnes for a while. Um, so good way for him to go out. Um, great pitching by Kirsch in game one. Great pitching by Butane in game two. Yes, he did give up four runs there, um, but he did pitch really well. Um, got out of a lot of jams, a lot of strikeouts. Um, so unfortunate that we lost that game, but man, GG's to my opponent. It was a super, super good game. Unfortunately, we just couldn't. He brought in the professor, and he's just, that just shut us down. Um, Andy Pajas, my guy, 0 for 14. Um, yikes. We'll see. We'll see. He'll get a hit, and we're all going to celebrate it. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm playing horrible with him, but when Andy Pajas gets a hit, we're all going to celebrate, all right? So um, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. If you guys liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We are on the road to 50 subs. Um, just hit 35 last night, which is so crazy. I just want to say thank you to all the guys who hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, we are 15 away from 50, our first real goal on the channel. So if you are not subbed to the channel already, please hit that sub button. I would appreciate it um, a ton. Um, as like I said, on the road to 50 and I would just love to get there. So like I said, let's go ahead and do it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.